comfortable too. You've got your friends around you, you've got your friends on TeamSpeak, Discord, whatever voiceover internet protocol provider you prefer. Friends. Friends. Or you're doing it solo. I've been doing a lot of that recently. Welcome. Let's get into it. Heroic and Na'Vi jumping into the action. We'll be turning the lights off so I can see the screen. And we get this one started. Second game of the day. And Tessus already looking to make some space towards Monta running in anti-flash. There's a lot of CTs there to receive them. They're practically all five here. And they were ready. Nico does draw first blood, though, and they've already got a goosh. Oh. God, look at the flurry of frags. Electronic and Perfecto. Going to try and stabilize just a little. Of okay. course. Here's Heroic, ladies okay. and gentlemen. Here's, this is how they work. <laughs> Fakey boys. Fakey, Fakey boys. boys. They rush. rush. Whatever. Oh, <laughs> we rush. lost it. I was going to try and take the song somewhere else, but you're right there, Alex. You were bang on. Look how much space Cadian's taken. There's the footsteps. And they're going to rotate out and then back towards oh, the B bomb site. The bomb goes. Mm. Funny that. I like that. I like that a whole lot. And if you can oh. stay alive, do a bit of damage, even better. But yeah, now you know. You're like, wait. Wait, I don't, I don't hear it. I don't, oh, dearie me. Right, round we go. Electronics off. No kid, of course. Now that extra time coming back in, he doesn't know if they've pushed up lower towards graffiti, towards CT. They could be anywhere, but we know where they are. One's on short. No, Borup's going for a bit of a walk around. So Electronics still dangerous as ever, but the time is a massive factor now. And there it goes. So nicely done by Heroic, even in the first round, showing that little bit of style we love to see. Yeah, and that's hopefully going to be the name of the game and how Navi deal with that is going to be their key to success right here today. Just taking a look at Simple's performances so far within the Pro League, Godsent was their opening matchup. He had 36 frags in the first game, 17 for 7 in the second. Uh, you move forward with that end series that you were talking about, Lauren. He went 20 for 18 and then 15 for 24. That was his worst performance so far. What a quiet so game. Yeah, but then you've got 26 kills, 34 kills, 36 kills, 29 9 kills, 32 kills, 21, 24. If you have someone who's consistently getting 20 plus frags every single match, well, that's why I probably call him the GOAT. <laughs> they're back on the beat. Yeah, they, they're going to use these MAC-10s the as best they can. Flashes are there. But it does need a little bit of a call in of the big guns. We've got the AK with Nico. Let's see what these Deagles, these CZs, these Scouts damage. can achieve. And yeah, you're right. The damage is there. Borup's a little low, as is Nico. So, and the isolation of Tessus. He tries to cross back over. Simple. I feel like he's going to get a tag on him. Actually, doesn't caught in an awkward moment. But they've backed away. They've taken a pause for thought and they've weathered the initial storm both sides. But now we have to consider where do these rotations go. This will cost Navi positioning now. Yeah, I think the positive sign for them is once those pistols strike onto Borup and Nico, it's only one bullet necessary to make them hit the dirt. Tessus and Cadian are going to be the two having to do a lot of the heavy lifting. So you have two choices. You either use the low HP as bait to trade out onto efficiently risking multi-kill potential if you don't go for wide spacing. Or well, you try and have your higher HP players go in first to keep those numbers alive and give you this four on four, at least as it will appear on the top of the scoreboard. Smoke towards the B site. The rotation still very close on over. Electronic will stay on A right now. He's just postured up towards long. And the faking style of heroic means that you'll always see the CT strung out a little bit. Uh, missed Molly means barrel is a problem. Right, Katie now tagged up as well. That's three low players. Let's see who gets the damage going. That's Borup to find Boomich. Not bad, but Flamey's still there. Tessus becomes the big man. He's still oh, sitting pretty dink. until then. Simple takes him down, and suddenly here comes the threats. Oh, my word, you're ambitious as hell, aren't you, Simple? Hoping for one of those to hit, knowing the damage they've inflicted is very real. But now with the bomb against them, Borup spots out Simple. Don't don't toy with that. We don't, we don't play these games. But no kit for the CTs. I don't see one down unless I'm missing it. Let's see what they can do. They don't know how low these guys are. That MAC-10 could shred through them all. Maybe Cadian a little bit trickier than before, but I think the CTs realized it. Time's up. Yeah. Get out of there. It was all possible. Simple leaves a parting gift to Nico. Oh, my word. It's just it's always so dangerous. Okay, two rounds for Heroic. But I got these barbecue two have been sauce great. on don't. my bloody shirt. Oh, dear, ladies Alex, and you want to go wash it off? You go, no, you go I'm going to Alex, go wash it off. Don't don't leave it on there. It'll stain. Is, uh... We'll deal with this. You deal with that. Please, I don't want We're you to mess up your lovely We're only at round two. It is the like second it. series. Oh. oh. Well, now he's going to be in a tiz, isn't he? No, he'll be fine. He'll all get right. it off. It's all right. Speaking of tiz, though, bit of a rough one here for Na'Vi, right? Well, I think those saved weapons are going to make them look a little bit more deadly than otherwise. You can see some nades upgraded boomage going for this Zeus. Mm. That uh, CZ-75 was dropped across to Perfecto right here, and Electronic holding on to the MAC-10. So this is still dangerous for Heroku. Once again, want to be at least setting the pace over towards oh, B. Cool. Hello! Ah! <laughs> boomage on Decadian's down. We'll get the trade, but that's a quick frag to lose, and they do find themselves immediately into a four-on-four. 
<laughs> I love that. That's a little surf that into the Zeus. That was amazing. The surfing just right to the face. Very uncompromising, isn't it? It's quite, quite an intimidation factor. Obviously, now on the other side, rifles going to be shuffled back through. So all 40s going to be posted up with rifles. But uh, they're not in a hurry. Obviously, you want to find out what you're up against, any stacks, any sort of, you know, misery business going on. So yeah. time will be taken. It's mainly simple scout that they want to avoid within these early stages because if he can get a couple of tags up, that softens them up for the pistols and the SMGs on the side of things for Na'Vi and the remaining players are Flamey, Electronic and Perfecto. So boosting on up, but well, as we can see, back to A they go. Meanwhile, you've got some nades being thrown out from Stown. He's actually smoked off towards Heaven, just keeping them busy on that side of the map. And it will just be Electronic having to jiggle around, jump and see if he can get that early information to call in the rotation. So actually dipping on back down through Bank. He's left at the wrong time. Bit of a unfortunate rotation coming on through as we will just see Heroic walk up through long. They're going to get the site for free. Nice wide spacing wow. coming in from the final player. Anti-flash there. That was good observing. Thank you, Rush. Tessa's How did they sell more. this B-fake? It didn't really. I think just Na'Vi gambled. Back? Okay. It was just down throwing uh, quite a simple smoke towards heaven and then a gamble call coming in from that of Na'Vi. They're planning bank side, which means they might want to be postured a little bit more forward towards the drop down. And Nico's taking full control. Look at this, simple as you like. One, two, three, mm. four, headshots galore. And that's a very the third round. Satisfying round. We had the great Zeus at the start. Yes, we and did. And then just that little moment. Nice and tight. Did we get the sound effect? Yeah, I did. Oh, I, I managed it. it. Look at this. It wasn't as nice as oh, it should have been. Not this. This was pretty, pretty lovely. I mean, you knew that they were all rotating into his domain and he understood the, the perfect balance between not wasting all your bullets, but throwing down suppressing fire, isolating his jewels. Cadian's got a smile on his face and a haircut on his head. So all power for simple here on the first gun round. Gonna be very important to keep track of how his fragging will go down. Electronic having the solo responsibility of holding A early. He's just pushed forward, listened for information. Now he's dipped on back, jump spotting for long. There is a timer on this kind of a play when you only have one individual over towards the A side of things. If you look at your radar, you can see that we have two players committed towards the monster side of things, spamming through the boards right now as Boomich and helping from heaven with the AWP is Simple. Now, Simple loves playing in rotation. He can get the information from his teammates and he can put himself in the right place for the right time. And now that Electronic has been flashed on off, that might be the cue for Simple to rotate over towards the other side of the map. Still jump peeking, eventually smoked out. And now you can see him making his way back up to help his duo of electronic quite the potent names in the server here today yeah and simple oh, and Cadian actually both gonna be the first to fire off some shots simple just tagging one clips the wings Nico not gonna be able to fly too far 45 seconds simple ops for bank bomb on down they can still pivot but they've got a perfect spread of CTs right now Simple's going to flash here, I think. Oh, re-smoking towards the bathroom position, and the flash might that. be good too. Oh, that's a look. No one there. And they haven't heard anything either, so B have to stay planted. Yeah, you can see the util being put out by those B players. Smoke towards Monster, flash towards Short. It's all there. I think Boomage is starting to come around, though. Did they see that second player? I think they did. Electronic still stands. It's incredibly impressive he did this much, but now support's on the way. Yeah, rotates in. Simple about to be naded down to 25. That one hurt to plant in the smokes down with just a couple of seconds to spare. Does get it in. Flash in fragged. Simple executes Borup. More to be needed from Stown, but unfortunately unable to deliver. Cadian, four players all hoping to find him. And he calls the bluff on the fake. Simple spotted. Needs to check it. And now the spray's just not quite there. It's perfecto on the 10 second to fuse and does eventually pull it across the line. He gifted an AK for his troubles as well. So we'll see how that one started. This was simple, just taking down the prong on long. And that frag through Boomich. You see that from the first time around. Look at that surf. Whoa, that is a stylish Zeus. I didn't get oh, nice, to see right? that live yet. Uh, lots of different perspectives. It's an interesting poster you've got there above your sofa. Was it nice? It's interesting. I didn't see it. Same. I was uh, getting back into Skybox. Are you back? 
Should be back. Cool. So we can just shout for... Uh... Yeah, if you want anything checked out from any perspectives, let me know. Cool, 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 cool. If the viewers at home want anything broken down in the post-game segments, I need some inspiration, guys. I've seen everything a million times. So How anything can they reach out to you, Chad? I use the hashtag clip it Chad, and I'll be checking that as the games progress. And just trying tweet to... at him. At Sponge, really. Well, we actually have a hashtag that we used in back-to-back -back Pro League seasons last year, Lauren, so yeah, I really appreciate really popular, it. popular, of course. Was a good segment, actually. A fantastic segment. The clip at Chad's. Went down. <laughs> the Chads. The Clip It Chads. That's what they were referred to. Commonly. Everybody was. Everyone, everyone was on the Clip It Chad train. So if you just want to, you know, get off that hate train, that'd be nice. Choo choo. Down we go. Choo. Oh, these boys are spicy today. Boomage is in a little bit of trouble. He had bodies. All right. Yep. Nice shot there from Nico. I think this one's done. The save call might have to come in from Navi. I know it is electronic and simple left alive. That nade's not going to do an awful lot, and getting back into a five-on-two retake on the B bomb site, they actually want to hunt. Damn, and Simple is going to lose his life. Nico's got two of these frags with 20 HP from the start, and when he's got that flair to his play, he is truly one of the uh, more intimidating Nikos in the servers. Really, really excited to see that this is the player that showed up the heroic plays today. What's their scoreline at the moment in that round, Robin, Chad? Heroic? Yeah. Let me just bring it up. Navi are four and one. So that's what. So I know that they're above them. Navi and Ents are at the top. I think that Heroic are sitting at three and two right it's big? now. Big. Okay. Just double check because we had G2 coming in today at two and three. Now they're going to be sitting at two and four. Just want to make sure I get this right. I'm I'm 99.9% sure it's three and two right now for Heroic. Just waiting for our routing to get on through. As Navi will be taking a timeout. The first one here of our second series of the day. Yeah, Heroica three and two at the moment. Navi are four and one. Bigger four and two. Enter also at four and two. Uh, so Heroic can keep their head above water with this win here. You see the scores so far. Not too many frags being netted within the first five rounds. But Nico with 213 points of ADR. He's off to an absolute flyer. It's great to see Nico, you know, being able to perform to this level. I remember back when he was on teams with MSL. He'd say he's such a great teammate. Well, here he's not only a good teammate, he's one of the workhorses of the team. I think Nico and Stown are the two ones who uh, stick on out. Not like sore thumbs, but diamonds. And then when you get the Tessus and the Bowrup performances coming on through, wow, the team looks good. Real good. Yeah, they really can turn up or tore up. It's Tessus and Bowrup, two of the bigger players of the squad. A little bit of a lick of flame to Stown's toes there, but a name not to be forgotten in that list. And so we're into the sixth round of play, our second series of the day. The active CT island. side. Yeah, I mean, this corner will be checked, likely mollied, but look at the way Nico's doing this. Robotic, and now as he pulled that clear, no! He slept on the closed corner. Electronic's patience prevails, and now he's got an AK for the rest of this round. You can see A is completely open, though. With Electronic push down and connect, the Simple had to rotate all the way back over from B. So this was a gamble call, and the safer way to rotate out is actually back through the sewer. It doesn't seem like it, but this is much smarter than going back up those stairs into Party and into the hands of Heroic, who are waiting up top. Now they'll have two players over towards the A side of things as Boomich is on the scene. Flamey now coming over as well. Bit of a switcheroo for round number six. And the Force by coming through for Na'Vi with these SMGs and lower utility, including the Famous. It's working out wonders. Now in Limbo, they need Connector Heroic. So they're clearing this out, making sure Electronic hasn't stuck around. Yep. Punished. Boomich finds it. Very hard to find a way back in now with 30 seconds left. You just got to give it your best shot. Kadian is going to line up the smoke. It will achieve very little in the grand scheme of things because it's so... Clearly. Coming towards this site. Simple flash, though. That buys them some room. Now flanking, perhaps. Tess is caught with a nade in his hand. Simple wants to stop everything here. Pushing through. Borup oh, does line up, too. He's time. only got six seconds, though, and unfortunately, no time to plant, no time to frag. Like, and I'll kill Electronics him after the time. killing him after the time. That is brilliant. Oh. It's rare to see a player hold his nerve and hold his trigger like that. Had him ready on his plate and just waiting until the bell rung. Wow, that's good stuff that's to see. That's really nice. You can see what that's done to his economy when we cut back to that HUD. Heads up display. Do you know what GUI stands for? Game user interface? I think that's it. I, I was dying, man. Yeah. We used to call them GUIs. 
I do think in a, in a different life, I'd have been quite good at the um, user experience, you know, like designing basically how humans think when presented with like an app or a website. Okay. I think that's an interesting part of technology. Can I point something out? There's some boys there. They were uh, bottom left, second in. Mm-hmm. And um, they like change rooms. I was, when I was watching last night, I was watching. They, they're in like a kind of cinema room now, and then I saw them in another room. That there was hopping around the two house. Two of them there at the Do we moment. We know their story. Like, who are you people? Who are you? Yeah, tweet at us. Just please let us know who you are and where yeah. you are. You know a lot about you... us. Tell us something about you. We, we want to get to know you guys. I'm noticing a lot of familiar faces tuning into the fan cams every day. So it's not just us Appreciate losing our guys. minds watching Counter Strike. Other people want to do it with us. <laughs> That's great. We're on this journey together. Shared madness really is quite a enjoyable experience, clearly. Deagle's out. Clock and flashes. Acadian. This should be a, a swift one. Oh, catch that, it's down. Oh, God, the timing couldn't have been worse. Nico finds Perfecto, puts Flamey into a bit of bother, but it should stabilize. There it is. Stability through simple. Lovely stuff. All right, simple as you like here. We'll just be Katie and last man standing. Any damage he can do is good stuff because you can see that Na'Vi, their bank hasn't swelled out of control yet. They've actually been kept relatively honest so far with the reinvestments necessary within the early stages of the game. The rounds have been back and forth from round three. And this time Na'Vi will be breaking serve and posting two of their own in a row. So we spoke about their woes on this map. Two recent losses, NIP... And OG, single digit games. Hadian making sure he keeps this one costly, but Boomich takes him on down, and that's round three post on the board. So the guns will come back out. Kadian has enough to get his AWP in play if he would like it, and there you see it being purchased on in. Stan catching that nade. Look at him flying through the sewers. Oh, okay. Nice one, simple. Reasonable. You always love a good wall bang. <laughs> oh, it's back. I really want him to make that his brand. Have a nice Have day. Have a nice day. Because he has the binds of it. He's got the t-shirt coming yeah, out. Dude. He's got it all. Like, make it his catchphrase. Oh. Smoke dropping in there. I think a Molly missed from uh, oh, the Na'Vi it. side. I might go back and check that one out. A much slower start to round number eight. We should find Tessus. If he Ooh. hadn't made that executive decision to back away. Realizing he's better off just alive than anything else. Electronic might get more than he bargained for on this sweep. Wow, very precise into Tessus, but traded. And lucky for Nico, he opted for the low HP on his teammate first. Boomich on a very fast flank, so he can confirm that they can stack in the right site. So this is valuable information. Oh, this is what I was talking about in the pre-show with Boomich taking space. Normally it's over towards the B side of things, but with all of this stolen over towards A, if he plays to contain and locks down this rotation from Heroic, Na'Vi could be onto something here. Look how passive Perfect is playing on the barrel's position, and now Boomich does take down the boost. Oh. <laughs> oh, gets warned off, but three on four, 35 seconds. This is the hit. Smokes are blooming for both sides. Perfecto catching a good deal of nade damage, but Kadian catches there he is again more from Boomich. He's just the spanner stopping this machine from functioning correctly. Clean onto another. Nico on for the ace. Wow. He's very sharp, is Nico, but recovery, and it's Boomich to find his eighth frag in that round. So round nine, overpass Heroic's pick, and down to the 2,500 mark. So it will just be... The eco, a pistol of choice. I wouldn't mind digging into that a little bit more. So we were talking a lot about how Heroic do these fakes, right? And that comes off the fact that they can earn map control respect. It's the idea that they could be anywhere, anytime with the lion's share of their forces. Having connected control, that's one of the keys into making sure they can rotate between these bomb sites in mid to late rounds and continue to do those fakes. Now, Boomich, he is taking a risk by pushing, right? There's always a chance someone could be around the corner. But if he takes that space and he contains, getting kills is even better. But if he contains and makes sure when they do rotate back for the fake, he gets a kill, slows them down, down, yeah. you know that Heroic do like late round plays. So this is a key for Na'Vi right now. If they're able to keep it up, it will change Heroic's play style. It, may, it might make them more direct. A big shout out to Nico for the coolest Tech 9 as well. Flash is good. Simple's fragging though. Ooh, I thought he hit that for a second. Yeah. For the craziest <laughs> of flicks. 
They do get Varov into the site. It's very short term, though, as the Flash returns the vision to Electronic. He will return the bullets to Heroic. Spots one jumping. More confirmation that Stown's in the toilets, but they are backing away. Na'Vi not going to let them retreat without some warning shots and some info pushes. Electronic quickly in pursuit of info. And he catches them crossing down towards that B site. This is not so much fun for the Heroic gang. I'm liking this stylistically. It's going to force Heroic to play a different style of Counter-Strike than we're used to seeing. There was Boomich trying to hoover up some of that space. It's a weapon, but it's hard to see how Heroic get in this round on this HP. Yeah, I mean, Stan would have to have not been spotted to start things off. Don't know how they're supposed to get that bomb down. Oh, Nico's giving him a little bit of room, but it's short-lived again. Kadian will scoop up the M4 for Perfecto, jumping for info. They did well to find a couple of frags, but now Navi do string together a nice two pair, or rather four rounds now in a row. So four to five. Cash back in the Heroic camp. If it is just the hard B coming out from Heroic as the pace change, or at least going into the B site to try and mix things up, we know that Na'Vi love a good four-man B lean at the start of the round. They're more than happy to let Electronic play solo. This time that won't be the case. As you can look at the radar, you see Simple in tandem with him as they double Molotov. So that's one towards the playground position and one towards the lip of the stairs there. Tassus has to respect the second. That'll slow down his ascent. But that's not where the attack's coming on through. They've taken Sua. They're trying to get Connector. They need to force that respect I was talking about into Na'Vi so that they're not just pushing and taking territory off of them. It takes time and it takes a great amount of skill to be able to do that to this caliber of player. And Na'Vi would love to do this to you until you break it. Flash comes in, they try and play off the back. Electronic unfazed and unmoved. Simple's got his back so you can stay pretty firm in your beliefs. There's already Nico's fallen foul to it and Electronic hasn't fully shown the intentions here, which I like. Still plenty to be played for and room to be controlled. Timing could not have been better. Just as Cadian switched to his util. Another round looking to be converted. Stown trying to rock the boat. Bomb's on its way towards A. CT's likely tucking into the site, if not rotating further. There's not much reason to. Still set up. Borup's heading back towards spawn with that bomb. So it will be the finish towards the B site. It's Stown to try and convince us whether or not we should be getting any louder. Oh, that smoke coming down right now is going to buy them Tiny. until roughly 16, 17 seconds. They have to go through this. They have to make something of it. Perfecto. All but over now. Shut down as soon as that smoke went up. You saw the odds just teetering over in a team ace. Every single player getting one kill on the opposition. Six to four, Na'Vi. I, this is the weird thing with Na'Vi. Again, sometimes I feel like the caliber of teams they play against, when they play against your higher-end teams, mm. they decide to turn up more. I don't know if it encourages it or if it plays better to them. I think this, like the stylistic matchup that uh, I was presenting at the start is one of the most curious things about this. If Na'Vi weren't playing well individually, yep. then them getting strung out by these fakes or even just the heads-up counter-strike, like the initial jewels they won over towards the A site right there, that would open the door. But because it's more limped out, more individual from Heroic, if they win their heads-up fights on the Na'Vi side of things, they have the number advantage and then they don't have to move. You saw their perfecto on flame. You could just stay exactly where they were, but B, we're Ace. going again. Good trades. God, this is brutal to watch. It's actually worked out favorably for once, though. Flamey and perfecto down. Okay, well, the rotation has come in and now the faking can begin. So they got those openings and now we have a minute 20 left on the clock. So at this point, this is exactly what Heroic want. When you get that far into the B side of things, especially with two opening kills, the rotation has to be respected. You have to move on over. You can't give up a bomb site completely. And that's why we see right now with this lovely observing in limbo is electronic trying his very best to get back towards the A side of things. He'll be there, but the bomb is still all the way back towards T spawn. Kadian's got a lot to do here. A lot of pressure on his shoulders. Electronic holding the tightest of lines. It's not to stop the plant. They won't be able to stop the plant. Molotov tucks Kadian in even more. High flash, simple indicating his arrival. Electronic does catch one crossing, which confirms he's still in bank, and Kadian nearly gets both. Tessus to save the day. Electronic a triple kill already. Armor and an AK. No head armor, though, so this M4 even the more deadly. Boomich crawling in from toilets. Tessus has got a chance here, but it's... 
Going to come down to timing electronics on the hunt. This is the first frag he needed. Tessus makes quite the announcement. He needs a second. Boomich crossing to the site. He goes for the fight. Boomich saves the day for Na'Vi and they get another round. This is getting silly now. That's going to be six in a row. Six CT rounds posted from Na'Vi in succession. Well, the loss burn at, at 3,400 means that Heroic will be able to buy with that plan. So that was never in question. But the damage they were able to do with just pistols, you can see exactly the game plan that they're going for. Electronic patient, realizing that, that space could have been taken, not taking any risks on his own. And now, let's see what Heroic want to go for to mix things back up. Quite a lot of them over towards A. This looks like a big pace change. Oh, never mind. It's tapered on out once again. How does Simple get out of this? Technically, they could have been up, but he's made it away. No one there to capitalize on his aggression or should I say not capitalize, but punish the aggression. And Stown's going to be tested a touch, but he's he's fine. He's making presence noted. He's keeping them somewhat humble. No free information can be found. The more Boomich jumps and baits in that regard, the more utility and the, and the slower approach that Stown will have to take on that side of the map, not knowing if any flash is going to come through. But we can see time and time again, Monster seems to be the real lockdown point for Na'Vi. The bomb in backyard. And this is the default spread from Heroic, right? Check this out. All across the map, they want to force the CTs back, so they have to play the bomb sites. That is the key to their game plan. And simple. Well, he gets an absolute freebie. Tessus looking at the ground, trying to line up a smoke. And there's another opening for Na'Vi. <laughs> Good play from Simple, holding the, just enough of an off angle. Fake up on Jail. Tapping away at the toes of Borup. Bomb is delivered to the tunnel, so not anything. Oh. oh nice. The timing. Nice crossfire. Everything fell into place at the right time. Boomich able there to secure the intention of the T's to try and trade back in or maybe get some presence towards that B site. But by now, the two remaining are kind of being closed in on here. Yeah, and this is really good stuff. The default, they get pushed back, they find the opening, they push forward, the rotation from Boomage coming in. Now it's Kadian and Burrow wanting to go for the save. Navi, if they want it, they have enough of a bank to constitute sending one or two players out for a kill. And Burrow, now that the pressure has been applied, has to see if he can get out of dodge. And he Oof. cannot. Perfecto with the org takes him down, and it will oh, just be oh. Kadian. Kill him after the time. Electronic, he's right in front of you. Oh, what? deary me. Okay, well, he died after time, so for poor Katie, and that's not great. Take a look at the bottom right of your screen. 150, bottom of the barrel. No loss bonus coming through because he died after the time. If you're not so familiar with Counter-Strike on the T side, if you're trying to save those guns and time has expired, you die after that, you do not get the loss bonus. The loss bonus would have been 3,400. Now he has absolutely nothing. This was the opening from Simple onto Tassus. Look at this. He is looking down at the ground, trying to line up the long smoke to obscure vision, not expecting them to be posted forward. And that was Bower up going down. Look at this. Uh, but, but, yeah, but. <laughs> oh, peculiar. Bit of an odd one there, but regardless, it worked out even better. I think if Electronic had pulled the trigger before, <laughs> having a bit of a giggle perfecto there. <laughs> Wondering how that one unfolded. Kadian will be dropped across a deagle, so he's operating with just that deagle, nothing else. The only other thing he could afford in the entire game Decoy. Decoy. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. So uh, probably going to be holding on to those $150. As he's been shaking his tin to his teammates, hoping for a handout, he's been given one. Money looking great on the Na'Vi side of things, but getting broken on a round like this as we taper into the later stages of the first half, that could mean a spree of rounds coming through on the board for Heroic. We do have a technical timeout here, so hopefully we can get someone back underway mm. ASAP for everybody at home. Hope you're having a wonderful day. How's your day been? Pretty good. Yeah, okay. yeah no, I, I love this. He's having a nice routine. I get to drive to work. The hotel's mm. awesome. So, you know, it's like a little kitchenette. Feels like real Mind life. It does actually feel like real life. It's yeah. not like from event to event, like normal one where you're on a plane twice a week. This True. I get to go to the gym. I'm going to a personal trainer. I'm really happy with things at the moment, Lauren. Life's good. Yeah. Alex, how's your day been? It's been okay. Um, it's not my favorite. I got barbecue sauce on my shirt. So obviously. And I really like that shirt. I yeah. know it's been quite like it, a it'll come out. point. Taz, Taz. Uh, I, I, I think there is just an, a, a tying procedure that I haven't mastered. We'll work it out. I'm sure exactly. we can. Exactly. But can I, uh, I do think it's, it's got, it holds weight. Uh, other than that, I'm feeling good. Nice. Um, I'm enjoying the fact that Na'Vi looked like the Na'Vi that, uh, that lift trophies. Good that to is see. Exciting. Feels like we hadn't seen two. They've been okay. 
I just don't think we'd seen like the the high point, right? Yeah, it's they always speak about it. That's hard in the interviews when we ask them. Oh, we're not at LAN. We're not at this. It's hard with the team environment. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that we've heard from some some good individuals, especially Magic, saying you know it's online. You have to adapt. This is the world we find ourselves in now. But we're getting off topic, Lauren. How has your day been? Um, thank you for asking. It, it's it was a it was a poor start, if I'm honest. It was yeah. a really shaky start. Uh, you guys put on some fun music in the car, which cheered me up a bit. I basically didn't sleep. You know, there's one I was explaining to him earlier. You guys, you know, chat can play along with us, of course. Um, you wake up and you think you've overslept, and it was yeah, like 3 a.m. And I was like, oh, it's three in the afternoon. I really messed this one up. Jeez. Wasn't the case. Uh, so yeah, just had a really bad night of sleep. But you guys have cheered me up. I've had a nice day. My pen then broke. Got ink all over my hand. Yeah, that did you happen. know, real yeah, this small setback. <sighs> so it doesn't phase really, me. Really? Yeah. Crying, yeah. Yeah. Had a little weep, but no. Been nice. Been a cheerful day. And chat's been quite funny today, which I enjoyed. Yeah. No, I like it when they do the little, like weird Pepe stuff, and it makes me smile. Mm, I don't know the why. The Pepe things. Yeah, the Pepe stuff and the Pepe's. How about you, Rush? How are you doing? Uh, doing okay. I'm feeling uh, very energized at the moment for some oh, reason. It could have been the coffee. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right. Well, that's it. How, how are you beans? doing, Chad? Are you well? <laughs> we already covered me. Oh, okay. How's we, Lauren we went, doing? We went around the circle. Lauren's doing good. Is Alex doing all right? No, Alex isn't. Oh. Alex is. He's he's a bit upset about his shirt. But, the barbecue sauce. Yeah, but we can fix the shirt. We just take it to the hotel and say hi. How do you clean satin? You get it washed professionally by the hotel. Don't worry about it. You don't need to do it yourself. We have people for this. We also have, across the, the road, a laundry place where you can go in, you can use your broken German, you can be all pouty, sad face, and they'll help you. Okay. It's going to be fine. Worst case, Alex. Worst case, get your phone out right now. Yeah. You know that shirt that I ordered today that was too big? Yeah. I immediately just ordered another one. You did. And I do really like the uh, the fact that I get to wear the extra big one. Yeah. So I might so wear that. It's great on you as well. I might try that one out. You just can't it wear it on the same like a, day. Yeah. I mean... We could. We could. We oh, want, and you want one as well? <sighs> matching uniform, the lumberjack. I, I don't know if I can look any gayer than I already do. The denim you know. is a strong look. Yeah. It definitely does kind Putting of. Putting on it. any plaid really just. Whoa, it's the, over the plaid it's over shirt. The top. It's crossing it's over a line. The top. It is. All right, well, I understand. <sighs> but no. Um, don't want to force yeah. any fashion choices on you. Yeah, no, no worries. Uh, chat, how are you guys doing? You <sighs> happy or sad? Well, let me talk let to her them. talk to her friends. These are my little humans. She's nice they're to great. them. They're nice to her. Okay, yeah, we'll have a nice relationship. And you know what? We're, they're the people that spend every single week. They tune in and they get to enjoy being part of our lives. So I like to include them once in a while because it's kind of nice. Oh, now this guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, <laughs> no, no, no I'm, a bad I'm, one. I'm just a big shout out to Cool Cool Man 420. Oh, oh, no. oh no. He's a man after my own heart. Okay. Uh, he's called Henry? Sad Idiot. Um, oh. And he says, Machines got barbecue sauce on his shirt, the most relatable man in esports. So, oh, uh, that's so nice. Big love to you, um, for all you other clumsy gamers out there. I also had a bit of a nightmare. Chad, have oh, you ever don't. got... I didn't realise the stickiness of milk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, hadn't, I hadn't considered milk to be like a sticky substance until yeah. I, I lost the lid for my protein shake last oh. night. And so I tried to kind of... <gasps> Well, over the top it was a ha- I, I put like my coffee, you know, the t- the top of a coffee cup. We got oh, those reusable. Yeah. I put that. I kind of held that oh, over the gosh. top and shook. It's like he's making a martini or something. Yeah, and there was just little spots of sticky milk all over my house. Okay. Um, <sighs> yeah. did, you, did you leave the sign on the door so your room could be clean? I didn't want to, Chad. Oh, it was, too, it was too suspicious. You now way. you have to clean it up. Yes. We... I've got the the, the soap from you know, the bathroom. There's a sponge. No, no, no. Have you looked in your cupboard? There's yeah, a there's cleaning. A there's a whole there's cleaning. There's a sponge and there's also. So paper towel. Yes, I've been using a lot of the paper towel. Well, that's in the house, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Lauren, I, you're disgraceful. I'm so sorry. You keep saying Get your these things. your bloody mind out of the gutter. In, in our house, in our house, Lauren, we have an absurd <laughs> amount of paper towel. More paper towel than anybody needs. It's Alex proof. Did you buy this during the? No, no, I bought. I brought it, it because of Alex. Is he just a messy person? Upon upon arrival to the Maltese house, where where Henry had warned me, by the way, Chad's just like a bit fussy about the house, so just make sure you do the rules and Does it'll Chad be okay. Chad make his... Oh. We have rules yeah, so, in the fridge. So, yeah. I, so okay. I showed up, and the first, the first, pretty much my first day, first day. Uh, I, I picked up a jar trying of salsa. To help. I picked up a jar of salsa and, and, and smashed it on the ground. Um, I don't think that was my intention. No. I, I can't remember it how it happened. I think I'd just washed my hands, fresh, yeah. freshly lubricated hands. <laughs> you were putting it away. You were trying to help. I was trying to tidy eating. up the fajita yeah, yeah, yeah. ghiblies. Yeah. Oh, it's nice you were trying to and help. And I just smashed tomato sauce all over the kitchen. Oh, but I also gosh. went and I purchased, Lauren, I, I purchased a steam mop because with a lot of spillages, a steam no, mop is perfect. I'm interested. He, like, he really likes the steam mop. Right. It's a good steam no, mop. Have you ever used a steam mop? No. Well, I've used a steamer and a mop. I've Ask never combined the two. Ask a follow-up question to look more interested. 
How did it go? There you go. Well, we haven't had to use it that much because he hasn't been spilling that many things. Well uh huh. And I'm getting up on time. I'm fast becoming an adult. I am age 27. How old am I? 27. Yeah. Okay. That's well, a very funky looking CCTV camera there because I don't know where the, the source of the light is. Does anyone, can anyone pinpoint where the redness is coming from? Um, uh, Rush, can we take a look at the truck? Oh, MC, there's a truck in T-Spawn. Whoa, whoa, this is... This we like want to go binoculars. We need no, the truck in T-Spawn, <laughs> behind the fence. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is a... Fl is this a flower truck or a painting? Oh, we're going on the side. Let's have a look Laura. here. The Blumen. Uh, there has to be a flower truck. Yeah, Blumen yeah, is flowers. flowers. But why have they got paint cans in the back? Probably because... Oh, the ammo oh, cans. Oh, the, oh, my God. Okay, the law. Oh, the, the law. law. Okay, so the it, terrorists, they've rocked on up to somewhere in Germany, apparently, in a flower truck. They've jumped right. on out. They have this ladder over the fence. I'm not sure why uh, the ladder... They've uh, climbed over the ladder. If you're terrorists, wouldn't you just come in here and cut down the fence? Like or get some bolt or something? The, truck the, through the fence? It, That's not very subtle, though. They don't want to be announcing They don't want to be subtle from. while running around with AK-47s. You know a default starts with an unannounced presence you're taking right. space, denying it with utility? You are right. You are right. <laughs> you know it starts quiet. You're right. It ends loud, and it was locked. Look at that lock. That looks, to be fair, that's comically easy to cut. Yeah, I'm actually, that's Valve a bicycle. could have made that like a nice little, you know, lock-picking lawyer-approved, yeah. uh, multi goldy Maybe a couple more textures on it. Triple, too. yeah, goodness me, there's about on, four Valve. polygons there. Come on, let's, let's up the Well, let's take a look here. at some other... Uh, hey, Rush, I'm going to play a game with you. Oh, what up? Can you find the wheelbarrow on this map? The wheelbarrow? Yeah, oh, luck, my goodness. Man. Good luck, easy, mate. Easy, cap, cap. easy. Good luck, my what? friend. Oh, uh, I don't think it's, it's over hard. here. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not long. Think about it. Where would a... Oh. Where would it be, They Rush? removed the bike. They did. Yeah. It was in the way. Uh, it was in the way. Okay, where would... If you need a wheelbarrow for something, what would you be using it for? Mm. Uh, cement. Oh, I know. Some way. Oh, oh damn. good guess. I actually legit don't know anymore. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I, I don't know. it's on a roof go somewhere. Back go back to a roof. Spawn and go towards A. Uh, two spawn A. Take a look at left. Uh, That's a lawn. Uh, in the window. In the window. Go back. In the window? In, in the window. No way. No. Why, are you, why are you looking in here, dude? I have to look at every detail as a Counter-Strike <laughs> analyst, as somebody who takes their job seriously, Rush. I need to know where every prop on every map is at all times. I prop guess so. professional here. I wish we had Counter-Strike prop oh, hunt. Alex, don't, don't talk about more fun content. I like that. So I get excited and then it never happens. Flat. We don't have time for content. Of course we do! When? I work seven days a week. Oh. When do you sleep? Uh, at night time. And how about... Rather than watching the two games that are relevant other than a recap once in a while, you go, oh, I'll socialise with my friends in a way that can create content so it's even related. I like that one. No, no. Dragon law. Yeah. <laughs> Dragon law. Yeah. Flowers are pretty too. Maybe this is the tease, trying to look like the flower uh, <gasps> and they're delivery not very good service. At it. Yeah. Oh, smart, smart. Wait, so they painted like children. Well, maybe no. that's all they can do, Chad. I imagine the education system isn't fantastic in this fictional land. Have you seen my handwriting? It looks like my education system was terrible. Look at that bomb breathing. <laughs> Ooh. I don't like it. Stop kind it. Of can we go elsewhere? Making me a little... Can we look at the little bunny rabbit? Easy. Is that a Stewie 2K stick on the back of that yes. gun? Yeah, le Electronics got a lovely sticker, and we... Oh, please stop looking at the... ...are unable ball. to stick around, I'm afraid. Oh, we've, we've got, got an away? announcement. Yes, it is time for a break. We will be taking oh, a quick one. We do come everybody. back, though. Bye, guys. Hoping to get that missing Navi member back in the server. Bye.
you had no time to even surrender Would you give up your rights and let your life slide away?
So ladies and gentlemen, a substitution has been called in. Electronic unable to return to the server and therefore Na'Vi have fielded a new one. It's Bit standing in for this game. And of course, they'll be taking on Heroic. It was a fantastic showing. And of course, Electronic was part and parcel of that. Let's see how standing Bit fares. As his stop Molly does pass the first test, at least the utility is <laughs> still going to be there. And we can get into the action with Heroic. I've got Pansy and Sponge alongside for the ride. I feel like this ride could get a little bit weird and bumpy now, folks. Yeah, online Counter-Strike. These things haven't happened too much so far throughout the Pro League, but the issue, hopefully, we can move past it quickly. Bit actually from the Na'Vi Junior squad, the highest rated player for that team. So they brought in their best man for the job here to replace Electronic. And just to catch you up to speed, Kadian, in the previous round, round number 12 went down after time. That's why he's operating with no armor. Actually came into this round with a drop Deagle, which has been swiftly swapped over with Bora up here. Let's keep an eye on how this one progresses. Navi were looking hot to trot before the pause. Quite exciting to see a young, like a, a really young player below the kind of up and coming standard that we sometimes see, obviously not quite pro league level, but it could be fun to see how well he can Slot himself into this and try and keep up and do the best he can, of course. Now, simple. That's enough of a giveaway to know what's coming his way. Flash towards long, curiously done. Takes his time to walk away and readjust position. So, new look for simple here. Not a util. Bits in the right corner. Looking for his first frag, and he does catch Borup with the spray. First down. That was the low HP player, though. There's more to come. Tess is just on the edge of that smoke. Simple hasn't moved a muscle, evades the flash, can contest the plant. Oh. He does have the angle just into the shoulder. Boomage catching another as it fades. Bombs yet to be planted. They've got 15 seconds. They need frags and they need a plan now. Stown's got one. But that's all. And Na'Vi weather the storm of their first CT round with the standard. Lovely start. Converted nicely. And that puts them back into jeopardy. Poor old Heroic. 3.5 at round 14. You're either going to have... AKs and some Mac 10s, oh. or you're going to have a half buy with the SMGs. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm actually into this. Let's go, baby. Four Mac 10s coming out in a Deagle for Tessas here. Ooh. Utility as well. So this might be a faster play. They can go for really quick connector control. They can try and overwhelm over towards the bathroom positions. Put pressure on this new kid. See what he's got. He's dropped the Molotov again. Flashes to come out. Lots of pressure will be applied oh. here. Has he seen enough? He's seen a few, I think. That's going to be a call for assistance to come in. They're on the way, but he's going to have to deal with it somewhat himself. That's first, that's bomb, not bad. Turns to look for the second, that's a kill. Good enough work to buy some time. Rotations are here. Yeah, he's done more than you could ask for him. The flash slowed them, his frags slow them, his smoke slows them. Bit has delivered. And we're now four on three. Tessus yet to really have any impact, considering how influential of a player he can be. This is alarming. Good court, good catch, sorry, from Flamey. Four on two. Nico's their best bet. A re-smoke, a CT smoke for Boomich to play around. And they're using all of their utility to continue to buy time. And there is absolutely no flank to be concerned about. Perfecto's confirmed that. Nico is going to have to give it a go. Off the flash. In he goes. Finds himself a simple. Maybe a flamey as well. Oh! Goodness, that's the low HP player there. There's still a chance here. If Nico oh, no. gets another, they're going to throw this round away. Nico gets himself the fourth, and a round becomes reality after one more frag. Nico has turned this completely upside down. Topsy turvy. Nico doesn't move. The bait shots from Perfecto still not working out. Nico winning the round by now moving a muscle. And now he swings in. Perfect to adjust Bacadian trades. Oh. And that was supposed to be the 10th. Nico disagrees. Big round from their only star online. He's about to break 20 before anyone else on his team breaks 10. Wow. This was good stuff from the youngster here under pressure, being able to get two frags before going down. But Nico, oh my, oh my. What a big turn of events here. On the site, able to deal with Flamey, taking down Boomich. And that is a huge round to win because I was starting to paint the picture that the T side, it's going to get a little bit more difficult when Na'Vi get over there, but their play style, it doesn't really matter that they're lacking electronic bit, might be able to slot on in. Well, if they can get six rounds heroic, they could be looking good to bounce back into this one in fashion. Final round of the first half here. Simple will have the AWP. Rifles for Boomage and Flamey. Effective down to the Deagle bit on the SMG. Boomage posted up close here. There will be fights. Borup wins them. Yeah, he certainly does. Simple now. 
Internal clock ticking as how long can I stay around here? Catches one though. Tessas goes down, not bad. Doesn't fall fully away. Waits for that smoke to plume, sees no others. Okay, 4v4. Boomage, the space taker, taken out of the equation early. It posted up very aggressively with that SMG, holding onto a lot of territory at this point of the game. If he lies in wait, might be able to come in for a quick flank towards the B site. That's currently where Flamey and Perfecto lie. Smoke in Flamey's hands. Will he deploy it? It's gone on out now. That'll corral them to the right side of the pillar. Flashes through, and Flamey's safe pair of hands has grabbed one. Yeah, failed flash from Heroic. Don't think they can contest that plant, though. Perfecto hoping that his bullets would have done enough. If anything, it signs his death like Warren. Simple into the site, though. Cadian. Thrust into a one versus three and a missed shot gobbles up the flashbang. He's running out of chances. It will be Simple's responsibility to defuse and he's holding it this time. So Cadian, just a matter of time and eventually eliminated. A 10-5 half and it feels like we just had a long one, but I promise this one should be a little quicker. We're taking a break, folks, and we'll get this second map of our second series. Oh, it's the first map. Good grief. Time has stood still. We'll be right back.
Derby fans, do not fear. Electronic is back with us, if I'm not mistaken. He is all sorted for the T side. As uh, I was about to see, a bit, a little bit of a look to maybe Narvi's future one day, who knows? Uh, long way off, though, playing for the junior side, of course. But second half now, it is a 10-5 scoreline, Chatty B. And here I get their shot on the CT side. Yeah, and they're going to need to lock things down in a big way. This was their map choice, and Narvi came out the gates hot. 10 rounds to their name. Could have been a couple more there as we get underway. Flamey ready to take some fight. Bow up and Tessa's pushing forward. Flamey standing tall. That's information. The door swings open. Electronic tries to trade, but Kadian with the boost. The trap was set, and Heroica punished them. Yeah, that's... Fantastic start. Oh, door closed, though. They're boosting to find them, but Borup's ready. They even want to go again. This is a clean pistol round from Heroic and a necessary one at that. Simple stuff there. Nothing too difficult to comprehend. Yeah, but a lovely crossfire nonetheless. Effective on Boomich. They were the utility individuals. And unfortunately for them, I think the pistol round in the second half is probably done and dusted. I haven't had that one in a while. Done and dusted? Done and dusted. Classic. <laughs> uh, perfecto. Try to make it look good, but it will be shut down. Heroic with a nice initial gambit there. Yeah, it's always a calculated maneuver, and they always have a backup plan, so that was great stuff to see. Hopefully we don't have too many more dramas as the game is now back underway and we can bring you all the action. This was that initial fight, and you could see what it did. Kadian waiting. The door gets swung open. He was completely flashed and still finding that. And just to note, there was a sound cue made in the connector when going for that boost. So Burrup had a good idea that it was coming on through. And we'll get the second round underway. Na'Vi are going to be taking this one as a full economical. Ah, oh, although I say that, simple as a deagle. So, and armor. So, hold up. Simple different, you know? Yeah, well. I think you get uh, whatever you want when you're the best player in the world. Zywoo fans now, real mad about that comment. <laughs> he could be up for the task, I'm sure. Hard to split the two, but simple. The career speaks for itself. Idiot. That is uh, an ambitious auto shotgun the hell? shot from Kadian. <laughs> I don't know what universe he's living in, but <laughs> I mean, there is a, like I, it is really unpredictable with shotguns at mid range. Like yeah. sometimes all of your spread kind of lands in the head, and sometimes it's hitting their toes. It's really not the weapon for the job, and Kadian's felt the brunt of that. Now, Borup is advancing with Stown, and Flamey no longer exists. Uh, this, unfortunately for Simple, would have been the end if he hadn't have hit two okay. spectacular deagle shots. A is open, Borup's rotating, Perfecto's got the rotate locked in. Stown fanning around with a door is not going to get him far. And now, oh, Perfecto can continue to tuck in. So, poor old Borup dealt a bit of dud hand. They know where one of the two is, and they've got a pretty sneaking suspicion as to the other. Simple, looking to single-handedly win this round with a $700 sidearm. I said, must be nice to another have the one. world's best. Must be damn nice. Four kills with just a deagle and armor. This is the second round of play. Yeah. What in darn sake... Tarnations. What in tarnation is that? Yeehaw. That's actually, as far as accents and yeehaws go, Chad. Not bad. Pretty decent. Spent some time in Texas. Too shabby. Yeah, I heard you've, you've uh, spent some time there. We did a couple of events there. Yeah. Do you like it? Pro Don't you find, Chad, that when you leave countries we visit, you just feel, always feels like you're leaving a little bit of yourself in those different countries? Yeah. Just a little Doesn't bit. Doesn't it? Every, Every time. visit. Every time. Simple left a mark on this round. You did. And that was the fourth. Oh, oh jumping. Damn. See your bow up. Well, he's on one today. 20 kills for old Simple now. 11 to 6. Simple winning a round that he had absolutely no right to win. Just the deagle headshots. Phenomenal gaming. Flash is deep and it will... I, mean, I wonder if he's deliberately firing off shots with that scout. He certainly wants to make them think they could punish. Stown set up to punish as well. But, oh, look at the setups. I actually think Heroic got a bit of a shout here. If Perfecto doesn't uh, expect it, this could have gone really disastrous. It does look like it's been handled well. Boomich knows there's another coming in. His line of sight does handle it for his 15th frag. And now poor old Borup. Six frags to his name. A CZ75 with a... What sticker is that? It was blue. Is it an LG one? Is it a Frenchman? 
It's uh, breezy. That's a guess. What is it? Give me an inspect. You Rush, can you work this out? A bloody mystery. I'm squinting at the screen. Rush, what do you think it is? Cold Zero? We're closer than us. I can't tell. Cold it does. Zero? I think Cold Zero is a good yeah. show, actually. That's a good get. There is a Z at the end of yeah, that. Yeah, it looks Cold Zero. It's so hard to get an angle it's on really it. It's really hard to tell. Oh. Help inspect us. it. it must, yeah, borrow. Sure, Maybe twist. Oh, fill it with a good suggestion coming yeah. on through. They say twist. Yeah. Cool. I don't know. There's a Z at the end for sure. Okay, well, Old, I think we cold. need him to die so we can see it. Oh, if he doesn't die, we're not going to work it out. This is going to really bug me. I wouldn't say cold is the typical season. And a blue, would either, it be a yeah. blue colour? Oh, Could that be like a Vega Squadron sticker? Ooh. Oh, like a chop. No, it's not a peas. Um... Uh, why can't he just inspect his pistol? Well, some people don't have it bound because it's a bad habit. It looks cool. I know, but it is a bad habit. Yeah, but you want to look cool while being what a professional. What called Zara? Luminosity sticker, maybe? Could be LG, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at it. Rush, Where's the rush, floor? Rush, 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 look at it. Oh, go on, rush. Rush. Oh, oh, it. Inspect it up. Inspect it. Oh, okay. God damn it. Well, we could find out. Electronic <laughs> could be using his sidearm into the next round. Ah, oh, that's gonna that's gonna, uh, that's gonna haunt uh, our dreams. Still, this was how it all kind of got solved. It was Boomich just dealing with that Tessus push that kind of stopped us getting concerned. Go, 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 go. Uh, oh, it's landed on the wrong side. Uh, Everyone's trying. I respect the attempts. Thank you so much to everybody for participating in the production rooms. A single flashbang, a two hundred dollar round from Heroic. Let's see how they choose to use it. All five ready to jive. And here comes the flash bang. Nobody really going to be home for this one. If he goes now, Boomich is having a look. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Electronics not going to believe his eyes here. Are you ready? Dun. Oh, he got four of them. They throw out their flash on theirs, but Flamey's called the site clear. Bomb's surely going to be pivoting back around. Simple's not wanting to get caught out here. Throws yeah. the bomb. He's like, I want the frags. Give them to me. And it costs him his life. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. It's all right. It's all it's right. Fine, it's fine, but it's good. messy. I don't like it. Well, one of the things is when you're in this yeah, position... get the mop. The steam mop. <laughs> get it out. I don't know if Henry would be using the steam mop. I bet it's sat rather idle. The cleaning <laughs> lady doesn't even use the steam mop. That she really has her own little standard mop. It really that. upset me when yeah. I just didn't... Did see you try it. and explain to her? Like, look, look how good it is. Like, say, you you know, love it. Like getting your friend around for gaming and he sits there at the laptop when you've got a fantastic gaming computer. <laughs> uh, it was a little bit upsetting, but apparently Tessus wants to have a crack at this one, and if he takes Perfecto out of the equation, there is a chance, because the Mac 10 at range from Flamey, not so good. Against unarmored opponents, probably good enough. Oh, um, maybe Tessus actually doesn't want to have a look. He went on in. Yeah, poked his head around. It out. So it doesn't look like I'm particularly welcome here, what with the whole explosive device and everything. I think I'll just uh, save the old Kalashnikov. Oh, people are, are giving me the idea of this twist from Boston 2018. Oh, okay. Nice, yeah, our research. Liquid could be blue. I actually done. did get a good look at it. It is twist. Twist. Thank you. Definitely. Thank you Thank you Philip gets 10 points. Wow. All right. Guns come out now. Won't be the AWP in the hands for Mr. Cadian, but potentially some orgs coming out. I think Tessa's had 5.1. This was the map choice once again of Heroic. We will be moving into Nuke as the second map picked by Na'Vi here. Another very proficient map for that of Heroic. So they probably aren't panicked too much. This feels like it's going to be a three-mapper. So strap yourselves in for the evening of Counter-Strike, ladies and gentlemen. It will be that Orc, as I mentioned, coming out. Let's see where he can post up and use that. Over towards A for the time being. Down towards the next was Katie and dipping on through. And, well, Nico, he was in the race with Simple for... 20 frags. I think Simple's pipped him at the post. But it is a bit of a two-horse race as far as the fragging's going on in the server right now. Just a little. What's the intention of this smoke here? You can see he's lining up just the in front Canadian of the site. Has. Yeah, just in front of the B site. So if they get pressure, they need to be able to get out, right? So the thing is, in the position that Tessus is playing right now, they could creep up and flash and explode. And if they do that, this smoke will get, just get limped out in front, probably an underarm throw right. from that of Cadian, and it'll give them a way or a door to hopefully get out of dodge before being overrun. The T's aren't going to want to push through that, and they're going to have to go to a wider line. And it enables Tessus in the same breath to be boosted up for the info toilets. So really good camera work here just to help you understand the T approach at the moment. Too long, two towards the B side. Bomb in limbo between the two. So this is actually a really interesting demonstration of that default spread. Did he oh. see the head there on the jump? I don't think he did. Otherwise, we'd have seen the flick by now from Simple. But Tessus, 
Is he vulnerable at all there? Safe and sound. Smoke from Cadian is deployed. I feel like Simple knows something's up. And no one checking on him at this point? No one doing much? 20 seconds? He's got a chance here. Pulls the trigger. Reveals it. Simple wants to knock the perch off oh. his head, and he does take the first turret down. Cadian does well to find one propelled forwards, and the spray for one for Nico as well. Back and forth, the trades favor Na'Vi. Five seconds, a single second to spare. The wall bang doesn't come out. He is low. It's down using the elevation of the bin. Simple left in a 1v1. Simple's looking the wrong way. Smoke deployed. An AK picked up. What's he looking for? A kit? Nothing. <laughs> from Simple. He just pushed the smoke. Of course. Of course he does. 14. Oh, dear. Well, that might be the end of the map. And the reason I said that, yeah, check the money situation now. It's not great. Heroic, we'll have to take a save or limp in with some pistols. That's probably going to give up round number 15. This has been a quick one. Even with those issues that we had earlier, bit potentially having to play, but Electronic being able to get back in and we find them at full force. Things are very quickly running away from Heroic here today. Oh, they've gone for the all-in. So it's SMGs galore. Electronic forward. And we'll get taken down by the MP9. Simple tagged on up as well. Low HP. Can he stand and deliver any more? He's got the bomb, Chad. This is terrifying. Flanking. This is terrifying. He needs help. But he gets oh. a no-scope onto Stown. Boomer just trying to support him. Bomb lost. Orp grabbed. Borup tagged. He's throwing out his smoke to try and escape. They know the bomb was lost in playground. A knife kill from oh. Tessus in the meantime. Now the bomb is back under Na'Vi control. Boomer will recover that. And a 2v2. This mid-round is about to get chaotic. Perfecto's calling B clear. Boomich has to get the bomb there with safe passage, and through spawn is his best bet. He'll opt for that. Tessis is still considering the potential for a Boomich lurk. Of course, the bomb was last spotted there. Cadian sweeping in to confirm that the underpass is their best port of call. So we will see that bomb go down. It seems that Boomich is understandably a little on edge. But they've got utility as well. It is in the form of a smoke grenade, which could not be better once information is gained. So they'll drop it towards short. Process of elimination enables them to focus forward and get that bomb planted. Both of them arriving unannounced. He wants to make no noise there. And a boost on the sandbags a possibility. Here we are. Uppity over we go. Ooh, the desired AK as well. Gorgeous. Perfecto will be the one to receive. Image can't stop the bomb from that angle. So he's going to be the one to first take contact, you'd assume. There's one. And that's enough. Perfectly played. Perfectly played. Really enjoying this from Na'Vi. It does seem like they've woken up on the right side of the bed this morning. 15 to 6. Heroic have really not had much of a voice in this first dialogue. It is heading into Na'Vi's nuke next. Ooh, alliteration. That's going to get very interesting, right? Because we have seen a lot of Heroic playing on nuke. It's down with the vent control. We've been loving the way that they can defend that lower site. But because we've seen so much of it... Oh, hold up. I'll save it for the segment. Let's get through the game first. You guys will hang around. I'm yeah. sure you all love to watch my desk yeah. segments. Yeah. Oh, they can't get enough of it with their thinks and their keepos. Who said it? I know how it works. All right, well... One of us. with the knife has been able to get the org up again. Let's see if we can get anything more. Oh. He tagged Electronic there. He got on the way down. That's mad. Oh. Tessus is gone, not having a great map here today, unfortunately. Having a nice day, maybe. As this one's done. Yup. Stick a fork in this one. Who kills Borop? Alex. Who does it? Yep. Oh, uh, it's obviously going to be simple. Okay. Um, Nico as well, or? Uh, no, no, he's Nimpo. Nico kills Simple, and uh, it's Electronic that trades. Oh. So, as you can see, it will be Borup to take a little jiggle. The Simple will yeah. flick. Oh, you, oh, nearly. Gets it, though. Okay, so then we should Nico see Nico kills kill Simple. Simple. Precisely. <laughs> and Electronic just didn't get the memo. 16 yeah. to 6. Another fantastic.